Today we're going to be breaking down another MLS player that's making noise, making waves with this current club, DC United. I'm talking about left-footed 18-year-old Kevin Paredes, who in my opinion can play anywhere on that left side of the field. Can play left winger, left back, left wing back, and left midfield if you wanted to in my opinion he's that damn talented he's that fast he's that tenacious his acceleration from zero to 60 is probably one second guys this kid looks like the real deal he looks special we're going to be talking about kevin's bio we're going to be breaking down his highlights and we're also going to be talking about his potential move in the future there's rumors that he might be making a move to rb salzburg there's rumors that rb salzburg is really interested in kevin paredes we're going to see if that if that's the case, there's also rumors that he could be the potential replacement to Brandon Aronson, who could potentially be making a move to AC Milan or another team. But with that aside, it just feels good that our domestic league is finding ways to, to give these young players an opportunity, to give these players that chance to prove themselves, to showcase their skills, and then eventually ship them off. You know, I just, I really like that. It's a very exciting moment to be a USMNT fan, to become a USMNT fan, because obviously our future is very bright. Obviously right now it's looking good, but can you imagine 10 years from now, how many players, how many young prospects we're going to uncover, develop? There's tons of diamonds in the rough out there. There's tons, tons of, of kids wanting their chance. And they're going to get it as long as we keep developing, continue to develop players. And that's what we're going to be doing today, man. We're going to be talking about one of those kids that, in my opinion, is definitely going to have an impact at the USMNT level sooner rather than later. The first thing we're going to be taking a gander at is obviously the player bio. I will be sharing my screen with you guys. Three, two, one should be there now. And I am going to be using transfer market. I just trust it a little bit more. I feel like they're more up to date. They're more up to detail with their stuff. And obviously it shows you different things. So I like it. And if there is another website that's very similar to transfer market that I could definitely benefit from or use in the future, guys, let me know in the comment section. His real name is obviously Kevin Alexander Paredes and does play left midfield, guys. It says that Kevin's position is left midfield here, his main position. But in my opinion, I have seen some highlights on him. I've seen his explosiveness, his acceleration, his speed. I think that in my opinion, this kid, if he... If he cleans up his final touch, gets a little bit better in the final third, gets a little bit better in the finishing, I think he could potentially be a left winger for somebody. God forbid he doesn't, you know, develop those those skills, those technical abilities. He could potentially be a left back because he's that good. He's fast. Like I said, he has acceleration. He loves to attack. He loves to go up, up the field. So in my opinion, I mean, this kid could play everywhere on that left side, a Swiss army knife. That's what I think. And this is the type of player you want on your team. The type of player that if you need a left back, you plug him in there, he's going to he's gonna pan out. If you need a left midfielder, he's going to do the same. A left wing back, he's going to do the same. The kid is, I like to call him an athlete. His current market value is currently at 1.10 million, but I definitely see that going up higher, guys. The more he develops, the more time he gets, the more playing time he gets, the more experience he gets, the better he gets. It's just going to go up. Now let's take a look at Kevin's highlights here versus Toronto FC where he did have one goal. And I do want to give a thanks to USMNT videos for obviously putting this compilation together of Kevin and allowing us to, to break it down. Let's get into it. Nice, nice tackle. Very clean. Very clean. And there he is once again. Dispossessing the guy very cleanly. Oh, is that him? Nice. I mean, that was perfect to his left foot. Easy. Damn, got taken on that one. Quick acceleration. Fast. Feels a defender draped over him. Immediately just tries to run away from him. Yeah. A little tough on that pass there, but nice recovery and offloads it immediately. There he is. Very clean tackling the, the defender. Very, very clean. Nice, nice little shake and bake there. Okay. Plays it back. A very heavy touch. Oh, be careful there. All right. Nice. Nice clean tackle. Very, very clean tackle. Very technical when it comes to, you know, dispossessing opponents from the ball. Very clean. There it is once again. Another clean tackle. I like that a lot. Another one. Okay. This guy's a damn wall. Ooh. What is this guy doing? Who is this guy on the ball? I know Kevin got taken out, but the guy had an opportunity for goal right here. This guy with the ball. Is that is that a Riola? It looks like a Riola. A Riola, bro, what are you doing moving the ball down the mid? Why are you going towards the midfield? You have this guy open over here. That left winger or, or or left back, whoever it is, he's he's screaming down that left flank. If I'm Paul Ariola, I mean I'm sending it to this guy. Get a center off, but instead he just drives it down the field. 
his inability to pick up his head. I don't know. Here it is, wide open. Dude, this is where I want to see this kid, Kevin, just running down that left side. Based on these highlights from Kevin, so far what I'm noticing is that he's a very high energy type of player, loves to run a lot, is screaming down that left side the whole time, whether he's defending or, or, or doing it offensively, right? And another thing that I noticed is that he's very sound, very, he's very, very good at dispossessing players from the ball and then immediately just try to transition into offense. I think this kid, if he was to go to a team that utilizes that left wing back position, geez, this kid would be amazing. Like I mentioned earlier, this kid could easily play that right winger position, but I mean, if if a team that utilizes that left wing back position got a hold of this kid, I think they could definitely do something special with this guy. I mean, look at this kid's confidence, allowing the defender saying, hey, you want the ball, come to me. I mean, we're up at this point. You want the ball, come get it. And that's exactly what this guy's gonna do, and I'm pretty sure Kevin's just gonna make a quick move, and he's gone. Boom, acceleration. That fast. And he did say that he models his game after Alfonso Davies, and I've seen Alfonso Davies do this a lot. Allows the defender to come to him, basically provokes, challenges the defender to come to him, and then boom, in a flash he's gone. And that's exactly what he does. Defender needs to tuck him down, bring him down, because obviously that's a business decision or else he's gone, he's, he's running down that left side. So you, you got to do what you got to do. But overall, this kid's just full of confidence. Okay, he, he's, he's looking great. Very left-footed. Very, very left-footed. <laughs> it's okay, though. No worries. There he is. Another clean tackle. That's what I mean. See? Transition into offense immediately. Here he is again against Akinola and just cleans it again. What I'm noticing is that he doesn't play the defender. He plays the ball. And that's very smart. The kid is, is not watching what the guy's doing. He's watching where the ball is. And that's what you want to do. That's part, that's part of the game. That's obviously the point of the game, to play the ball, not the guy. And that's why he's so good at just dispossessing players from the ball. Because he's playing it the whole time. There he is again with his anticipation and his quick burst. I mean, if you have, if you have quick acceleration, if you have a quick burst, and you have great anticipation, you're going to be a stout player. And that's what he has. He has all that combination. Just run through that one, hit that one with Over pursuit right on that one, but that's fine. There he is again. Nice. Shutting that side down. Receives a ball. Immediately tries to open up. This kid's ready for Europe, in my opinion. There he is again. Nice recovery and immediately, boom. Open it up. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Look at this, playing the ball, playing the clean. Clean. And Ariola kills it, obviously. Nice. I'm loving this kid, man. His high work rate, his high energy, his tenacity, his cockiness, his confidence. I mean, you saw that one play where he allowed the player to come to him and he just said, psych, I'm out of here. He dipped. He's out the back door. I love that about him. Could definitely do the dirty work and obviously transition into offense and do the offensive work, create a chance for his team. He's a tactician and dispossessing uh, players from the ball, in my opinion. And this is one of the players you want in your team. I mean, he's only 18. He's going to keep developing, getting better and better and better. And in my opinion, the sky's the ceiling for this kid. And we're going to see more kids like this coming through the ranks. I, I promise you guys that. Maybe not identical to him, but we're definitely going to see players come through the ranks. And I'm just excited overall, man. I'm excited for this kid. I think this kid definitely belongs in a high press system. If you were to ask me, I think this kid would definitely benefit and do pretty damn good in a team that possesses a high press scheme. Kind of like RB Zalsberg. I believe they utilize a high press scheme. The reason why I think that is, well, obviously a high press scheme system is, you know, you're pushing numbers forward and you're trying to press the opponent side, the opponent team in their side of the field, right? You're trying to cause them or have them make a mistake. You're going to recover it and immediately you're going to transition into offense and try to score a goal since you have numbers forward, right? Since you're pushing up so high. Now, this kid, based on what I saw in the film, I mean, he loves to press. He loves to dispossess the ball. He loves to take the ball away from them cleanly and then try to turn it into offense. That's what I saw a lot from him. And he's just fast doing it. Pokes the ball and then he's off to the races offensively. That's something that, in my opinion, would definitely you know benefit him. And obviously, he'd definitely benefit a high press system. So it goes to show why RB Salzburg is so interested in this kid, right? But overall, Kevin's one of those prospects that you just salivate over, man, because they're just they have that speed, and you can't teach speed, man. They have that quick twitch, they have that quick engine, kind of like an Alfonso Davies. Not as fast, in my opinion, but just they can go from zero to a hundred in, in a second. And you can't teach that. You can't teach that type of acceleration. 
situation. So if you have that type of player, you're winning already. I really like doing this. I really like doing player bios for young players coming through the ranks, trying to break through the scene, break onto the scene and, you know, making waves through the MLS or wherever domestically they're playing for. With that being said, guys, this is going to be the video for today. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Kevin. Do you guys think he's, he's that good? Do you guys think he should go to RB Salzburg? Should he go to a different team? What are you guys' thoughts? And what do you think this guy's going to turn into when it's all said and done? Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Aside from that, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We are doing that giveaway. We are going to be announcing the giveaway winners this week. Aside from that, guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.